What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another top five and it's the first one for 2021 and it's been a kind of quiet month. Pretty quiet actually and that's expected with January but you know the first half there wasn't too many videos because there wasn't too many songs but then second half of January oh boy okay we got some bangers and I'm gonna be doing my top five songs of the month these are based off my reactions and I think that's all we need for chit chat so let's fucking do it okay number five goes to a progressive band you guys know that I love me some prog but uh yeah I finally got to check out this band and I was super impressed at how jazzy and funky and beautiful these guys were uh, it's instrumental and this song is a banger and that is Arch Echo Leonessa that bass and drum pattern Man, we all love the metal, we love the screaming, we love the double bass and all that, but if you just want to chill out and vibe a bit to some instrumental awesomeness, check out this song, alright? Let's go on to number four. Alright, let's let's get the drum roll. It's been a while since I've had that drum roll come. It's building up, building up, and the winner is Darko US Donna. I try to see the good Shit! Alright, this single is just, it's so fantastic because it's completely different than anything else that they've written and for being a new band and experimenting as much as they are right now, oh man, this song deserves to be on the list, more so than Pale Tongue, which I also heard this month. I think it, this shows a nice, fresh, unique side to the band and I can't wait for the rest of the album and I hope that they explore more ideas like this. But let's go on to number three. Number three, I got a shout out to the person who told me to check out this song, and she was right. Banger. Banger Central. And thank you, Rachel Reacts, for Rivera Bloom. Woo! Oh, shit. Yeah, this song is sick. I really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of Thornhill, North Lane, those kind of bands. So give me some genty, atmospheric, intense, post-hardcore, metalcore, just whatever, with slight prog elements. You know I'm going to vibe with that shit. And yeah, this song, just banger. Up and coming band. They're releasing another single uh, pretty soon, I think. Anyway, I'm going to definitely check out the rest of their uh, music. But let's go on to number two. Next song on the list is to when I reacted to it, I was at the right mood at the right time and the right song came on. I couldn't have asked for something better at that time and that is Architects Dead Butterflies. Alright, if there was a track that made the Architects fanbase super divided, it's this one. Now I'm leaning towards the side where I'm liking the experimentation, I'm liking the new sound because I'm a longtime fan who actually really likes their post-hardcore stuff like from Daybreaker and the Here and Now song. So I already dig it when Sam does his cleans and all that, I'm used to it. So uh, you know if you're a new Architects fan, you might not like it as much but to me I vibe with this. Um, the song, I also realize that through replay value is not as strong as Animals, so Animals is actually my favorite. I still think this is one of the best slower songs that Architects has ever written. I think this is a fantastic ballad that shows the different emotions and side to this band and that's why I love it as much as I do. Uh, but yeah, Animals is my favorite, but still I am so stoked for this album. More stoked than I was for Holy Hell. I know, I'm the minority then, and I'm still the minority now, but hey, that's just how I feel. Now before we get on to my number one, here's many honorable mentions. Oh shit, it's Rippy. Alright, my number one song of the month goes to... Cue the drum roll. Alright, that's enough. You guys probably already know what it is, and that is Brand of Sacrifice, Animal. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these guys are bringing the heat. Holy crap, two singles this month, and they have both been awesome. I really like Lifeblood, and, but then Animal... 
come on man it is heavy it's technical it's catchy it's unique it's fun and it is just brutal holy crap the musicianship is fantastic the vocals are just menacing and brutal and yeah the song is just so heavy and so fun uh yeah my favorite brand of sacrifice song i think they've ever written and i am so stoked for the rest of the album that will be coming out pretty pretty soon so yeah can't wait to react to the whole thing but anyway those are my top five i'm curious to know what your top five is so comment down below spice up my life what's your top five songs of the month uh, I know there's a couple that I missed this month, so let me know the songs that I miss. And uh, yeah, if you got to this point in the video, then I appreciate the shit out of you. Bar that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.